Hey guys, in this demo I'll be showing you how to use the Objects Along Selected Curve tool. And um, I've already got this set up here. What I did to make this is I created this uneven plane here. And um, I used this helix spiral generator to make this curve. And then also used the Conform Snap tool. And um, I'll link the tutorial for that below. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is, for no particular reason, we're going to use this tombstone and place it along this curve. So what we'll have to do is select the tombstone and click on Objects to Copy. And then select our curve. And we won't, we won't click on Run just yet. I'll go down to options and I'll say estimate copies and what that's telling me is that it needs 185 of these tombstones back to back to fit around this curve and it already puts that up here for you now that's way too many and um, so I'll add some spacing in here put 50 maybe and we'll go estimate copies again so now it's got 33 tombstones evenly spaced, of course. And um, the other thing that's important is this follow option. So what that does is when it's when it's on, it'll rotate your object to flow around this quite nicely, and it uses your object's pivot point. So I've, I've got my pivot point snapped to the base here. I'm just using this quick snap pivot to base option. So it's going to have my object sitting on top of this curve. So you, you want to make sure that um, your object's pivot point is in the place that you want on top of this curve. Um, so I'll go ahead and select my curve and click on select curve and run. And <coughs> that's super morbid you can see. What it does is it it, um, it groups your objects as well so you can quickly manipulate them and it's it's rotated the objects around because I had follow ticked. I'll show you what having follow off does now. So I'll select my curve again and I've unticked follow and we'll run that again. So as you can see, they're all facing forward, all perfectly round though. So you can use it as as needed, really. Yeah, just really handy tool. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.